Hello and welcome to another episode of Forming the Russian Empire. In this video we're going to conquer the rest of the Kingdom of Vladimir and then we're going to kill the Baltics. The Baltics have been pissing me off, they've been raiding me, doing a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm going to kill Estonia and Lithuania and probably go from there. But if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Thank you guys for the support on the series, it's been great. Okay, so we got to give away some territory because we do not want all this territory. You are not Russian, so we should give some Russian person this land. I think there's a mini vassal in here, so let's grant you a title over here. There you go. Uh, let's take out this uh, county over here that we need for this um, Vladimir. So you want to go to war with these guys. I think we just need a county, is that correct? Yes, we just need to take a county. We could take more... No, 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 we can just take the county. Uh, the twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. Ra, no, I, the day I was cursed, the day I met the sky. Today, however, the curse has been lifted. Fate has smelled upon me and brought the hysterical curl to his grave. My rival dies. So good old rival dies. I always think there's weird that there's no events for when uh, your family members die. Some of them, you just lose like 40% and there's nothing about it. So we're still swinging this person. We do have a new person that we have to try to convert. Maybe we should take care of this raider up here. So let's go ahead and make a rally point here. Raise the armies. And let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out. Yeah, let's take him out. We should be able to beat him up. Stupid raider on my territory. Not today, sir. You are going to have to go home to whichever country you came to. Oh, you're actually not in the right territory. Sorry, guys. Okay, we beat the raiders, we got prestige and some gold for that. See, there's actually a plus to having raiders because technically you don't have that loot yet. Like you don't lose gold when they loot the city. So you kind of gain gold for having the looters loot and then you taking it. It's quite interesting and doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, I think there should be some sort of fix to that. But I know that uh, the tribal nations are not the main focus of this game. A lot of the feudal uh, nations are. And let's look at the beginning of the map. This Indian nation is still doing good. These two empires duking it out. Bulgaria is actually looking quite good. Usually they, I think they blow up and so is Sicily. Sicily looks pretty good too. But hopefully the Byzantines uh, get being backed by Bulgaria. That would be interesting usually don't see that because after the byzantines killed bulgaria in this empire they're going to be coming after us so we definitely got to be careful because already byzantines are already getting kind of close to our territory so or our goals so we gotta make sure they don't get up there okay low county on muscova um what's this yeah take the gold swear so let's, uh, no, we're already doing control. We can convert some religion. We gotta do the territory that we own. So where's the territory that we own? That is, so this right here. So we gotta convert this area there. Cause eventually if we convert the rulers, they'll eventually change the territory. So we don't need to go ahead and do that. Let's declare war. The, the person we took over last episode were, were their allies. So they don't really have too many allies now. Um, let's send two of these uh, stacks down here, maybe three, and have two up there. I took uh, my daughter playing with a bow, and to my surprise, she ran into a wounded doe. She showed me the animal. Its wounds uh, were evidence of a slow and tortured set. Later, just smiled. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Yeah, she's sadistic, but you know, she would be very feared. Still need to have a son. Let's actually do. Oh, I don't think we want to do that yet. You want to do that right at the end when we are going to change to feudal. Just because that does like a big opinion loss. So I don't want to do it yet. So Estonia is going to fate the might of me because, you know, they're kind of been pissing me off. We also got to be careful because our levies are getting quite big. So our gold's starting to run out because of the levies. Um... Let's wash your hands. Yes, wash your hands. Don't want to get ill. Now do we? Oh uh, yeah, let's transfer. Hmm, do we want to transfer? 
Um, I'm not sure if we want to transfer. Who we're transferring it to? My nephew to my half brother. Nah. Actually, actually, probably we should. So we're gonna do that. This makes everyone happier. Make it more clean borders and stuff like that. So got that territory. I don't know where they are per se. Um. Can't you go here? Yeah, you can. You don't need to go through that territory. This is very interesting. I don't... Oh, yeah. They're fighting another war. They're fighting against these guys, I think. Oh, they're going for the entire nation. Interesting. Didn't realize. That's a really big nation you're trying to subjugate. To be honest, that's something like I would probably do. Yeah, no, that's 100% something I would do. I'd probably try to subjugate that nation, too. I don't know. I don't know if I would try to subjugate that nation because then I would have the Byzantines breathing down my neck the entire time and I don't know if I would want the Byzantines breathing down my neck the entire time. Okay. So we're going to win this war. Probably no uh, problem. Why would we lose this territory? Or is this? Oh yeah, yeah. This is some weird um, hair stuff that I can't really prevent, I think. Except for if this guy dies. So maybe we should kill him. Yeah, we're going to try to murder that guy. I think if we murder that guy, it will fix our succession. But I'm going to be honest, I'm not quite sure, but we're going to we're going to try. We're going to see if that fixes it. Um and then also, let's start swing her. I think that person is 70. We can convert them with that. Yes, 99% chance. So we'll convert their faith. Awesome. And then we're going to try to get that last person here. Um, since they kind of like us 14 away. And then we'll guarantee win that. How's this war going? Oh, you guys are actually doing something against us. And you're being annoying down here. But yeah. So I think the war is already over. I don't think that they can do thing, anything at this point. I think these two sieges should uh, seal the deal. But I could be wrong, you know, I'm not always right. Ooh, they might not actually seal the deal. No, they will not. So, but if we go win this battle, it definitely will uh, seal the deal. And I'm gonna try to learn from my mistakes and not just send them in to the war. Um, curses. Oh, I got exposed. Oh, never mind. Yeah, let's let's abandon murdering him. He probably will die on his own because he's finally came to complaining about someone's bullying her. She good. Do not seek trouble when it's unnecessary. Craven. Ah oh, no. Craven or lazy. This is the good trait, I think. But well, let her be Craven. It doesn't really matter. I don't I'm not gonna play as her at all. Okay. I think this is fine to go into a battle now. Um, you can go there. You should cut him off here. Yes. Okay, we'll get him in. We m are murdering him. And I think we should win the war with that battle. We actually probably would win by just ticking. You know, that can help. Who's raiding us? So enforce demands. So we now have the complete control... Almost complete control of three kingdoms. We actually just have to literally fight Lithuania. That's the only nation. And we will have four kingdoms completely. Okay, who's raiding us and where? He's raiding us over there. I'm gonna move our rally point here. Disband army, raise armies. Um, to be honest, we could actually probably stop the gathering of all of these right here. That's enough to take him out. So, take him out. Yeah, he's going to be taken out. Let's um, give this to... Who do we want to give this to? Is there a smaller nation here? Yes, there is. So, let's go ahead and give you that territory because it borders you. So, yes. You have that territory. Ransom. Let's ransom all these people off. Just to make it good. It doesn't a guardian for my daughter. I'm going to just because. Tiles can be created, just duchies. That's good. Family members can be married. My daughter can be married. She's 22. 
Let's get a powerful alliance. I think this is the Finnish nation that's been some problems. Yes, they actually would probably be a good alliance to have. Um, I think my primary daughter is good if we for some reason do have to have my daughter. Yeah, she's actually pretty good. Stewardship intrigue's pretty good. Oh, we actually didn't get that guy. Um, alliance form, yes. So now this guy will actually be an ally instead of a nuisance, which is good. He's really powerful. He might actually form F Finland. Which would be interesting. Disband. Um, is there anything to do? Realm. That's gonna be messy. Can married. Titles. Okay, time to declare some wars. So let's take a bite out of uh, Estonia. They're kind of, they kind of been pissing me off. Duchy of Estonia. Is that just one count? Oh no, that's a lot of counties. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna declare war without even moving my troops yet. Um, let's take Estonia out. Uh, I'm gonna call my ally, because I think they might also be allied with Estonia. No, they're not. Uh, just to be safe. Um, aid stress. My friend dies, and it's only causing me aid stress, but that's gonna give me a mental breakdown. Ooh, but I will become a general. You gain manage grief. That's okay. My friend Nico was always there for me, but I'll be a journaler, so that's okay. I always love getting those positive traits when you have a mental breakdown. Those, that, it, it, it's so unlikely, but it's so good. Oh, this is actually a pretty big war. Dang. Lithuania's a part of it. Let's actually send you guys to go deal with the Lithuanian troops. Ooh, maybe we should send two of you down to go deal with the Lithuanian troops and just have one siege up there. The Estonian troops are down there too. And then I think these guys should help deal with the other troops. Yes. Um, there are some battles going on down here already. See, sometimes my vassals actually do fight. Ooh, can you cut them off there? Actually, go there. Do we just have a bad commander? I'm the bad commander, of course I am. Oh man, I don't want to get myself killed. Okay, let's see if you can do a fight there. We're going to do fine up here, sieging it down. Okay. Well, this is going to be the big battle down here. Um, in high Tristan, chief in Ruslan attempting and improving reputation my Incompetent Chancellor has agreed to a treaty that cancels our party with my old treaty with my nephew. The treaty is it's free to declare. Well, that's interesting. Let's actually have you under one and fight. I think you... Ooh, holy cow. That could have been bad. They were in a very good defensive position. I almost suicided that. Actually, let's wait for them to cross the river. I think, okay, it's locked in now. That's good. We can go ahead and siege this. We're gonna get a battle here, which is actually pretty good. Um, we didn't want to fight across the river. I didn't realize they were defended so good. It was a river and a hill. So we actually had a chance of losing that battle, but I think a uh, battle there, we should be fine. Ooh, this has high chief chiefdom of Lithuania. That's a pretty good claim. Root to court. Yeah. I chiefdom of Lithuania. Nice. So I think that means we can do like a big claim for that nation for Lithuania. Which is good. We're gonna win that fight down there. You guys keep on sieging up there. Oh. Yeah, try to fight this guy. Okay, we're gonna fight that guy too, and he's a lot weaker, so we should crush him. We actually probably get a stack wipe here, I'm thinking. Potentially. No, not necessarily. Oh, dude, please, the raiders. Raiders, why do you have to fight me? Allies, why can't you be a little bit more useful? This should be a really good fight here too. Um, Commoner of the Poven has a... Oh. Uh, Russians are superior. Yeah, I, I don't need to sway that person anymore. So, we do want to sway this person. Demand conversion. 
might accept. They actually don't like us anymore. So let's sway them. Um, who else do we need to sway? Are you guys in a civil war? Yeah, you are. Wow, that's actually a pretty nice civil war there. Interesting. Um, okay. So we got in a battle with the Lithuanian troops. We almost have the entire duchy. That's good. Dedication of faith is well known. Yeah, we actually have really good for religion. Let's go siege Lithuania down. I know we're at war with Estonia, but... Oh, I thought we got into a battle there. Dude, you guys are getting to war with a whole bunch of people. I mean, battles. So now we have the entire duchy. Um, as I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building. Once again, why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? A squint and I try again. Nothing short of a miracle. With the aid of a stone of glass, an old man struggling with bad eyesight could read with ease. I have an error crest here, so I need... Yeah, let's just spend 70 gold. We, we are actually uh, rich in cash money. Um, dang, why is our war score so low? We actually... I don't know, maybe it's because there's so many people in this war and we haven't sieged that much territory. I wish my allies would siege some more territory, but they're kind of just standing around not doing anything. Which I quite not like. I wish they did more to help. Looks like they're gonna help here. Which is good. Dang, we actually almost lost that. Chancellor died. 20. Nice. So, we won that battle. Sieging down Lithuania. Very interesting. I was afraid my ally wasn't going to hop there. From all my evenings watching stars, I have seen with my own eyes what I have only heard of before. The stars move at different uh, speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in a large group, depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculation, someone could even predict their movement. My vocals does not prove the course. Leave the skies, the celestial realms, for the Vicky to know. I will find the answers to the heavens. Mm, you are right. I don't wanna- I actually should have read the things. Uh, in attempts to align chiefs into my interests, I have only found an opportunity I think I could argue that our goals are in fact the same as I dictate in my letter. I emphasize the share interest. That 75% chance. Come on. No, oh my gosh, we failed. Come on, it's 75% chance. How do we fail that? You suck. Wow, they actually just got straight into the territory. Oh yeah, we pretty... Why are you doing that? Hey, Estonia, don't suicide into me. You don't want to do that. Thank you. Uh, so I'll fight you, which is fine, but please don't suicide. Okay, what is my daughter? My one... Uh, a secret affection for Phineas for some time. However, when she finally confessed her feelings, Phineas responded harshly. The direction seemed to have made Louis worry of any kind of attraction whatsoever. She's chased. Hmm... Well, that sucks. It sucks getting rejected, kid. Doesn't feel good. Okay, disband. Let's give you this territory here. Even though you're Norse. I just kind of feel like you deserve it. You've been helping out, you know. Okay, so now it's time to go after Lithuania. Let's ransom these two people off for money. So is this a nation? Can we do like a big war for their claims, right? No. Huh. Well that sucks. Oh, we can do a big subjugation war. And to be honest, if I could, which I think I could, I could subjugate this entire nation. But, unfortunately, I do not believe in border gore. So we're not going to do that. If I really wanted to, could we? Oh yeah, we couldn't. Could invade the kingdom. Holy cow, never mind. We cannot invade the kingdom of the Byzantines. They got a lot. Okay. I if, if our borders weren't ugly, I would definitely subjugate them. Unfortunately, I am not making border gore. Everyone's gonna be like, ah oh, my eyes, the border gore. And I will I will refrain from doing the border gore, guys. You can count on me. Okay, we're just gonna do county wars because otherwise. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we can do clans for this, guys. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. Because then we just get all of Lithuania and we don't have to deal with anything. And we definitely have the prestige to spare. And we have ways to get the prestige. So that's fine. Is this peasant rabble? No. This is... 
this? Uh, my spies are looking to grave news. Well, we do not know. Someone's trying to kill my marshal. Yeah, please stop that villain. What 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 are you doing? Yeah, you're disrupting schemes. Yeah, I I I forgot about this for this last uh, murder attempt, but I am supposed to. What's it called? Uh, have him support me. So, um, in the stuff. Oh, yeah. Often quotes passages from Great Chronicles about the holy virtues. I should prove I have paid attention by quoting a passage of my own, preferably one which complements his personality. I will memorize and recite the one on fairness. Yeah. Hopefully he likes that. Only well, it seems like he did. Okay, so people will be mad because they're different religions and different cultures. Culture we're doing a lot better. I mean religion we're doing a lot better. Eventually, I think we'll convert everyone uh culture that's gonna that's gonna take some time especially because we're focusing on development but religion i think we should for the most part everyone who is not the right religion yet i think everyone's pretty much this guy is not and this guy is not and we're swaying one of those guys right now okay let's go to war with lithuania right now um for this guy's claims. It's only we should beat him. I I just keep on doing war after world war. I'm not really waiting for my troops to get better. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. My spy master come to me with the discovery. He's cert he is certain that my vassal and champion is scheming against my marshal. Let the traitor be known. Throw him in jail. Oh, that's the guy with the yeah, throw him in jail. So did we actually throw that guy in jail? We did. And primary air. Um, offer guardianship. Yo, let's do that. That's actually way better. So we're going to, uh, ransom. No, no, no. We're going to negotiate release and we can demand conversion. Mm. Gain weak hooks. Gain weak hook, renounce claims, and banish. Banish. No, let's get renounce claims and gain weak hook. So we do that. So he's out. And I think with conversion, no. But I think, however, offer guardianship. I can be his guardian and convert uh, culture. Uh, convert faith and culture with using the hook. So his son, who's his player heir, will be the right religion and um, culture. Nice. Okay, big, big brain moves. So that should actually be... Double fixed. So, let's try to get this guy. He's going to run, but he can't hide. Chancellor died again. 23 for sure. Let's make you our chancellor. So, go ahead there. We'll have one person siege that territory, one siege that, and you go deal with these troops down here. I think we pretty much have this war unlocked. Titles, Duchy of Estonia. No, we're not going to do that. Oh yeah, but they're back in the war because they're allied with Lithuania. But we're about to take out their entire nation, Lithuania. Estonia don't, don't want no heat. They just got completely wrecked by us. I know they don't want no heat. And we just captured their leader, so we just won. Enforced demand, so be it. Did we get a hook on you now? We did. So we can convert you, no problem. Or, we're going to offer guardianship, use Hook, my daughter, and we can convert. Oh, she doesn't, we don't even have to use Hook. So, we're going to convert his son, and we're going to convert him. Nice. So, demand his conversion. Oh, we don't even have to use Hook. Oh, do we have to use, do we have to do anything for hooking you, sir? You're just going to change everything without us? Okay, that's fine by me. Okay. We do have a uh, subjugation war. We get one of these, I'm pretty sure. Um, we only tap one invasion. Maybe we don't have just one. Why can we do... Can we do multiple subjugation wars? Um, okay, first we have to figure out who we want to do in case it is just one. This might be a good person for a subjugation war. Actually, what are you guys doing? You're doing a war. 
Oh, that's a rebel war. I thought you were at war with these guys. I don't know. There's a tyranny war. Okay. So I'm thinking, do we want to keep going after the Balti Bal Baltics and subjugate this guy? Or do we want to get a bigger nation? I'm thinking we double down on the Baltics to make border gore clean. And we're going to go ahead and subjugate this nation right here. They are a different uh, faith. So it might be risky. But I think we're going to go ahead and subjugate them. I don't think anyone's claims is that much in duchy. We could invade kingdom, but that's going to cost too much. Let's go ahead and subjugate them. Raise army. And this will probably be the last war. We're kicking butt, really. We are doing so good. This is definitely like the India campaign. It's going very well, very quickly. So I am worried about things falling apart. We are expanding rapidly, and I'm not building very tall. And that's mostly to do because I do not want to um, build tribal buildings, per se. There are definitely some strong tribal buildings that I think we should maybe build a little bit more of, like in Novgorod. We d we're definitely upgrading um, this holding right here, because this is a great holding for our religion, Hall of Heroes. Um, but I do think we need to maybe build a couple more buildings. So what can we build? Here, Levy's Garrison. Let's see, that's just such a good building. Number of knights increased, markets increased. Oh, it's just so clean. But I think we're going to go. Ooh, these are actually some big troop numbers. Dude, they actually have a decent army size. I was not expecting that. Um, I don't know if I should call an ally or what I should do. Um, let's go ahead and help. Who are your allies? I thought you actually did not have allies. Who's this ally here? Those guys over there, and they're quite powerful, actually. So, very interesting. Um, oh, man. Do we cut our losses? Or do you think we can get there in time? Mm. Well, I think we're going to do this thing called good old uh, cheating. And hire these guys to also go in there um so let's get in there i think we should maybe win this battle it's gonna be close it is gonna be very close dang this is gonna be a nail biter i think we're just barely getting to the edge dang that was a very close battle that could have been pretty bad for us but unfortunately we clutched it in the end um, it, it definitely could have been bad. They had like their entire stack ready to go and I was uh, not ready for it. My spy managed to come to me with Grenu is my wife that is playing it against my marshal. That loathsome fiend. Okay. Wife, what are you doing? Why are you trying to murder him? Please don't do that. My steward has proven himself capable, especially in academic matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in Pinsk, my village, with your blessing, of course. I'm much more take yeah just do it i encourage improvements yeah do that for sure i believe that you can do it i will not question you can we battle these guys i think we can i think we'll win and i think that i don't think that's their their rulers their commander that would be silly quite absurd so let's see if we can siege some land out. Siege some there. Um, their territory is quite weird. There's a lot of, of the places to siege right next to each other, the baronies. Um, I'm expecting the barracks infirmary. When I severely injured is brought in, he's losing too much blood. Where is the physician? Hand me the tourniquet. Um, yeah, hand me the tourniquet. Let him do it. Our patient screams and we save him. Good job, Spy Master. I could have done it without you. And he becomes my friend, the Spy Master does. And this guy, I get a strong hook on, but he sucks at everything, so it really doesn't matter. Do we need better. Ch Ooh. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Do we need better champions? How are champions? I haven't looked at them. Ooh, we got 25, 22, 10, and then just drops off. So let's invite some more champions. Um. Let's... Uh, 
Okay. We're gonna get into a battle here. I'm just trying to see if I can stick out the siege. I'm going to stick out the siege, I think. This is gonna be a close battle. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh man. This is going to be messy. They grow up fast. So, this is definitely messy what's going on here. Oh wait, we lost that battle there? Why, how did we lose that battle there? Whoa, what happened? I actually, we were actually full, I think there might have been a glitch there, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we were full strength there. And then all of a sudden we went to zero. I thought I saw that. I'm not sure. I'm actually not quite sure what just happened there. I'm pretty sure we were full strength. And then all of a sudden we just went to zero strength. Um, quite interesting. I'm actually not sure what that was about. Very weird. I don't know if you guys caught that either. Um, who are you? You're powerful. You are a little bit more powerful, but you're in a war. So we're going to call the other guy in. Very interesting. I, I'm not too sure if I missed something there, but I thought we were winning this battle here and then all of a sudden it went to zero. Um, I'm actually not quite sure what that was about. Disband all troops. Um, disband all troops. So we also can raise them near. Um, where is my ally in this war? They're up there, so they're going to be coming down probably in a boat somewhere. Um, probably should move the rally point a little further north so they can't just run in. Marshall, I want you to work on organizing levies to get our troops back a little faster. Because we can have 11,000. Um, one of my counselors also just died. Literally, that one I just assigned. Um, after, let's do truthfulness, why not, this time. Literally, my marshal died, like, literally in front of my eyes. Probably because they're all soldiers and stuff like that. Okay. So, it doesn't look like we can beat them here. Unless my ally gets here. Which I think he is. Actually, we do have the numbers to beat him. Uh, my brother died. Write down thoughts. At least some stress. Uh, I got a pen and opened my journal. I did my pen once more. And we're no longer overwhelmed by stress. Okay, let's get, let's get into this battle. Uh, our allies should get there too. I don't know if they'll do like a big one here. I don't know oh, they might. We should, oh. If my ally gets there, I think we should be fine. Um, My champion is wounded. It's also... A religious guy. Oh, can you get there in time, my dude? It's gonna be close. Oh, a millisecond late. Not nah, good. That is now the second one we lost. Seven! Oh, until eight. Dang. We're just messing up on battles. That's another one where probably shouldn't have messed up there. But, you know, I'm bad sometimes. I'm gonna hire another mercenary. I'm gonna disband troops. We're just going through our stewards and stuff like that because they're all champions as well. Um, we also can recruit new champions. They're actually quite good. Ransom? No, that's a peace deal. I don't want to. I probably should. Those battles really murdered my war score. So we have 6,000 troops now. Raise armies. Let's actually be competent for once. Let's see if we can actually win a battle. Um, let's decline. Culture fascination. Ooh, so we can get siege equipment now. Right? Hi. Nice. Okay, we can get siege equipment now. Um, now shouldn't lose this battle here. Because we have 7,000. We're going to have a small hiccup with this guy here. But now we have enough to definitely win. So let's get in there. 
We're gonna definitely beat this guy here. Um, then we're gonna fight the other troop, I think. They're actually gonna suicide in, which is good. Them suiciding in is good. So I think that should um, bring our war score up tremendously. Yeah. So I'm gonna split in half. So you guys can go siege something else. But I will be a little bit more careful so we don't do any battles that we don't want to. I can also need a guardian for my daughter, she's 13. I think my guardian died, so that's why she doesn't have one anymore. Um, my daughter is arrogant. Um, while I was in the castle town, her attention was caught by a criminal. Lifted her head and made show of ignoring the criminals begging for water. That's actually kind of fucked up, I'm not gonna lie. That's messed up. Ooh. Why are you losing that battle so badly? Oh yeah, you're gonna win it. But you were losing that battle for a little bit. Ooh, they might siege my territory. Which would be cool. Change for once. Lifestyle perk, healthy. Nice. This guy's probably gonna live quite long. I'm gonna go ahead and do a battle here. I don't think they'll win. No. I don't know why they picked that battle. You guys aren't going to get there in time. Now that 2000 though, that could potentially beat me. I think. We have a lot of troops. It was quite annoying. Go ahead and siege that territory down. This is a very long war. I think it's because I messed up a lot. Okay, are they sieging me down here? Or are they just gathering up? I think they're just gathering up, which makes sense. Let's get our troops down here, because they're probably going to go for a big toffle. That's what they keep on doing. Okay, let's do a big toffle. You should win, just pure numbers. Dang. And since they have so I think it's because they have so many countries aligned with them. They have a huge amount of men at arms. Yeah, so they have two allies, they have like triple the men at arms. So I think that's why the battles are a little closer. My daughter can marry. What country is this? This is a pretty powerful country, right? Yeah. Done proposal. Excellent. We could just call you in immediately. I think that's unfair. I think it would be unfair to call that guy in immediately, so we definitely shouldn't do that. Because he's just fresh and isn't in a war right now, so he would just completely murder this nation. Um, I just feel like that would be unfair and we shouldn't call him in. So, we're not going to do that. We're going to have this war play out in a very fair way. Yeah, I think it's because like all our lefties are dead that we're also losing. Oh, where are they going? Did you guys just get into another war? You guys did. You guys literally declared a war in Wessex right when we called you for, for an alliance. I think we have special troops, right? Not yet. I don't think so. Um. Oh, I kind of want to stick this out, but I'm going to run away up here. Um, so I don't is a big battle. No. Go this way. I don't want to lose any more battles I don't need to lose. I'm going to be very strategic about this war now. Dude, they just seem like they have so many, like, troops just coming out of nowhere. Um, a shameful truth has reached the light of day. My vassal has an extra moral affair with my cause with his cousin who cannot go unpunished and they had a kid very very naughty um let's combine and i think we should win this war um they have also a really good commander i think too but i think just on our numbers we should win that 
It's like a recommendation if they think you're gonna win the battle or not. They're not always necessarily true. Um, Steward died. Um, yeah, my nephew, sure. You kind of do look like me, this nephew and steward. Can I make you my champion? Can I force you? Can I do that? Let's do that. Force that guy to be my champion. Where is he? Oh, I don't think that guy wants to fight, so we can't force him to be his our champion. Oh no, we can. Force him! Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry. He's just... He's got one prowess, but I'm just, I just gotta say, he's really bad at his job. Who's gonna rebel now? This, this faction is. Ooh, only territory, so we can't actually sway anyone away. Quite interesting. That's mostly because the leader... Wait a minute. Who's your... Oh, that's our ward, so we'll eventually convert, convert him. So that's fine. This... You guys converted. So I think almost everyone's converted here besides this nation down here. So let's go ahead and sway him. Because we will not stand for your vile aggression. Oppression. Oh, you want freedom? Ooh, starts a populist war. We're already 40 minutes in. So this is... This video is going super long. Holy cow. So this is going to be interesting. Um... We kind of do want to win this war. I don't know if... Ooh, this is going to be hard. I don't know if we can do this. Let's actually hire some mercenaries. We already have some mercenaries hired to go deal with some of these uh, peasants. Yeah, let's do that. They're actually going to get a decent amount of territory off this start. Looks like my ally got picked off in a war. Um, all this... Shall seek solace in my journal. Yes, and that's because my brother died. Um, ooh. Oh okay, yeah, we're gonna actually white piece this war. Because it's just not going too well. We'll subjugate them later. That's because we also don't have a commander. But I wanna... I don't want this video to be an hour long. So I'm gonna go ahead and deal with this peasant rebellion. And then we shall subjugate those guys in a future video. We just messed up too much. And I don't want to um, make the video too long because we're already going quite too long as it is. Why? We also lost. Oh, you guys got more troops when you want a siege? Is that how that works? I did not know that. And my daughter is a skilled tactician in Reaver. Nice. Go fast. I did not know that's how that worked. So that is not good. Oh, looks like some of the uh, peasants died. Looks like those peasants are dying to other peasants. And then we have one group of peasants left to kill after we kill these peasants here. Let's actually five speed this. Okay. And then we also have... So we destroyed that peasant revolt. And now we have another nether peasant revolt here in Novgrad. So let's actually disband troops and raise them right here. And then let's deal with the peasant revolt. Holy cow. This is so long of a video. Not, not supposed to be long either. You just had to uh, deal with all these peasants. You guys go deal with that peasant, and you guys deal with that peasant down there. Okay. Go ahead. Eliminate those peasants. Okay. Enforce the minutes. Okay, we dealt with all the peasants and stuff. It's been... It's unusual that it's true, but there's something appealing about the stuff Fox that has been placed before me. Perhaps it's frozen. It's just now our lips. Unconventional, but not unpleasant. Stuff Fox and increased dread. And while the gift was... While the gift was anonymous, has gone great lengths to make sure that I would figure out that she was behind it. Interesting. Okay. Well, that is it for this video. This is a super long video just because we had some rebellions pop up while we were failing a war. But thank you guys for watching this episode. Hope you guys liked it. And make sure if you did to leave a like and subscribe. See you later. Have a good one. Bye.